Right, today's video we're going to be looking at the prawn pot or the prawn pot style pots that we made. As some of you know last year we made a couple of prawn pots. I didn't catch much in the way of prawns but they caught lobster really well. So this year I decided to make more of them and some of them are different designs as in they've got different nets or they've got two necks in them as opposed to one, this kind of thing. And over the, well since the beginning of the year of using them, I've filmed obviously each time we've lifted them. And this is some of the footage, it's not all of the footage, but it's some of the footage of the lifts of those pots to see how well they did being a new design, being a smaller pot with a smaller neck. So let's head out and uh, see how we got on with them. Design that I wanted to try out. And we have a lobster. We have a little crab as well. Yeah, it should be all easy to do that. So the idea behind this is click the click this off. Get with that off. Click that off like that. That comes out like that. And then and then and then we grab the lobster and he comes like that. This is probably going to be just under this one, I think. He is actually legal. No, it's a legal lobster. So we've got our first legal lobster out of the new design pot. Perfect. So that's off to a, a decent start. Right, that's back on. He's baiting there. Right, so let's see if our new design pot is caught in them today. It's only been out, well it's been out less than 24 hours basically. But Weenie spider and one small lobster. So that's his second lobster. To be honest, I don't expect it to catch straight away because quite often with new pots, they don't catch well for the first week or two. I don't find like brand new ones. I think it's the uh, the new smell, you know, the new net, new rope, all that. But it gets a bit more with the sea scents. Um, I think it might put them off a little bit, but no, it's had two, so put it back roughly around here. Might have been a bit close to that rock actually, we could be a bit further over. next couple of days because I won't be out tomorrow so with a bit of luck it'll soak for a, a day and then we'll uh, hopefully catch up more. In this part you don't even really need a winch, it's so shallow.
And that, my friends, I'm pretty certain is a legal sized lobster. So this pot has now had two. I'll get it on the gauge in a second. I think it's the gauge up there, is it? Oh, it's here. Gauge is here. Right. So it's got to be 8.7 8 centimeter. centimeters? Millimeters? No, centimeters. 8.7 centimeters. So from there to there, you can, you can probably see it's from, from the eye socket. You can see it's well in. It's like half a centimeter in, a bit more. That's a good lobster. Right, down. Right, well, we're going to be dropping our um, test pots out here. We've gone a little bit deeper. And see if we can find any lobsters around here. Hopefully they'll catch some nice lobsters or prawns. One of them will take prawns. The other one is designed for lobster. The first one is based off the prawn design. So. Brown crabs now. It's not bad one either, really. That's what I want to find out, if the white net makes better catching than the, than the um, I doubt it's sold. We'll check it. Yeah, I doubt the, see if the white net is a better catcher than the standard crab pot net on these for lobsters. There's some kind of weird thing going on with that. I'm 
pretty sure it's under, but I just want to check for uh, how, how far off we are with them. With that watch at the moment. Yeah. It's only just actually about three, two, three mil under. But he's under. Let's go. Again, another test pot. And this one's got a nice lot. They do work. Yes, he has. We are catching. Nice lobster in that one. Again, one of the test pots. No, we switched this one out yesterday for the white pot from the crab pot net. So the prawn net one. Let's find out. Yeah, I, only, I, I mainly switched it out because this one is lighter and the other one was going deep so I didn't want it too light to get dragged away in the tides. Whereas in here, you don't have to worry about tides. Might be able to see it. A lady crab, or a velvet swimming crab, as most of you will know it as. Uh, something has tried to pull the bait through the side of the trap. That's interesting. Must be a conger. It's punched a hole with its teeth into here. Very interesting. Right. So, lady crab is a baby spider. Lady crabs are the pool, right? A small lobster. Tell you, Bobby. Only a Bobby one. But still caught a lobster. That's the main thing. Only a little one, but it got one. That's it. That is all. This net's gone a bit iffy. I tell you what, as well, I just noticed. So, sort of looking at that, um, look 
looking at that uh, lobster. I didn't realise it caught our first prawn. There we go, nice large one. I might put him in our tank actually. We'll take him because I need some prawns for the tank. Let's get some water in here. Let's try to bite. Our very first prawn. <laughs> this is obviously in the prawn net one, so. And our deepest set out, interesting. It's the angry crab, you know. They're only small, but they are mental. It's like a crab on speed, this thing. So we've had one in the deep water pot, so signs of prawns. Look at that little beauty from the depths. Little tiny race. That's it, that's our catch. Back he goes. Hopefully he can get down. Oh yeah, he's shot off. Obviously he can handle the depth change. Mind you, we brought, I mean the pots, that was coming up real slow, so. Probably can handle the, the depth. Look at this, 
somebody's run over the bobbers. That one might be big enough, we'll check it in a minute. Legal one. Good size one, that. Yeah. I really wanted to get this pot out to the deep this week as well. Get this weed off. Oh, it's going to turn into a leaf. Well, well, it has caught. got one claw but but it's a good size one even though it's only got one claw One in there. Oh. <laughs> Don't grab his claws, whatever you do. <laughs> grab his claws, I'm Oh, I have to try that, yeah, because it's broken. I need another thing like that. Do you see the size of it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There's your lobster. Brawn pot for the win again. Now that's a lobster. Just shows what you can get in those. I can see what I know what you're building next. <laughs> that is a superb lobster, that one. Old shell as well. Lovely. There's another one that always been fighting, is it? Three in there, wow. There you go. One great big one, two little ones. have it this was the lobster from today nice big lobster I say big about two and a half it's not a giant but it's you know it's a nice good sized lobster especially for such a small pot with a small neck and there was other 
um, lobsters that were caught where I lost the footage, I actually used the footage like the actual day of fishing and then I deleted the footage by mistake and I deleted several where we had some other lobsters. We did have another one which was similar to this with another decent one, but where that's gone I don't know. But anyway, they turned out to be quite successful those pots. They're catching lobsters like this and they're nice and easy to use as well because they're a lot smaller. So. Um, We'll expand on those pots over time, but the, next, the footage coming up now, from now on with the pots, will contain the footage of those small pots as well. I was just like collecting the footage as an experiment to see how we get on. Till the next video then.